Hello, first of all I would like to mention that some old videos have just appeared here on the channel because I found one of my old hard drives which had some old videos that I had forgotten all about. There might come one or two more, but that's it, and then back to AI generated content. And AI content is also what this video is about. Namely, in video AI. I have been on the invitation waiting list for a couple of months and yesterday I got my invitation access. I've been excited looking forward to it, especially after watching their introduction video. Now, watch here. What if all you need to create a video is an idea? Pack a giant bubble wrap suit and roll into the black hole and explore your own private planet. A giant bubble wrap suit, you'll see, will protect you from gravity's glee. Just pop some bubbles and you'll be right. No need to worry, it's a funny sight. Imagine waking up to the sound of space-time being distorted each day. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Okay, looks good, right? Yeah, looks like the new revolution on text-to-video generation. So I just dived right into it. That is, after I succeeded signing up due to some internal server connection errors, and afterwards I also found out that my Firefox browser wasn't working on this site. Anyways, let's prompt. What I had in mind for my next AI work was the scene from the 1979 film The Warriors, where actor David Patrick Kelly hits three glass bottles against each other while saying Warriors come out to play. So I started prompting for that, texting, make a movie about the Warriors in New York in 1979. Make it a scary horror movie where young people dies. Incorporate three glass bottles and the sound of the three glass bottles clashing together. Put in a bad biker man saying warriors come out to play more times in a row. Must be dark all the way. And here's what it looks like as a prompt. Then the analysis starts. After analyzing a title comes up. The Warriors, Night of Terror. Right on. Then a screen pops up where you can make some choices. Like which audience, horror fans, adults, or cult movie enthusiasts. How you want to look and feel, dark, gothic, or dramatic, and for what kind of platform, here YouTube. All good. Then the scripting starts generating. Four, chapters are being made, each with their own title. I was pretty excited at this point not knowing what to expect, but it really looked promising. And I love AI generations because it's like out of this world. Okay, my video is done. Super excited. Let's tap play. Wait. I will first say that I will stop the film in a moment and give my conclusion right away. And after that, you can watch the whole movie if you care to. Prepare for disappointment. In the desolate moonlit streets of New York, 1979, the eerie sound of three glass bottles clashing together cuts through the silence. The city, usually brimming with energy, now lies abandoned, shrouded in an unsettling quiet. The cold glow of the moon casts long, distorted shadows, painting a picture of a ghost town, bereft of life. Suddenly, the stillness is shattered by the chilling clink of glass on glass, a haunting melody that echoes through the vacant avenues. An unseen menace lurks in the darkness, the owner of a gruff voice that reverberates off the concrete jungle, repeating, Warriors come out to play. Each repetition amplifies the sense of dread, the anticipation of a confrontation that hangs heavy in the air. So, I'll just stop the video here. While this may be very useful for some, it is not useful for me. 
This is all collected stock footage, which has already been used by thousands of others in thousands of other videos. It has nothing to do with creativity and it is not AI generated images. This is not at all out of this world. This is just a chatbot whatever storytelling added to composite stock videos. Yes, I could also choose a male voice and I could choose other formats, but it doesn't matter. In fact, I made two other videos also based on the same idea about the three glass bottles and the warriors, but they also went useless. Probably also because there are no matching stock videos. So I'll just leave this alone. Now you know what NVIDIA AI is all about. Thanks for watching and have a great day. I'll continue the film now and add afterwards the other two I also made based on the same principle. Watch them if you care. Moing. The words linger, a sinister lullaby that unsettles the silence before slowly fading into the night. As the echoes die, the city holds its breath, the silence pounding louder than the clashing bottles. In a dimly lit basement a group of young hardened street warriors gather, unaware of the terror that awaits. These are the warriors, a defiant band of youth navigating the treacherous labyrinth of New York's underbelly. Their faces, hardened by the trials of street life, show no sign of the fear that will soon grip them. They huddle together, sharing hushed whispers of their plans for the night. The air is thick with anticipation, the silence only punctuated by an eerie sound, almost indiscernible at first, the clink of glass bottles. It's a sound that seems to seep from the very walls of the basement, a chilling harbinger of the horrors to come. As the warriors rise from their huddle, their laughter echoes around them, a fleeting moment of camaraderie before the storm. But as they step out into the night, their laughter is swallowed by the darkness, and the chilling call rings out once more. Warriors come out to play. The city becomes a hunting ground, the unseen predator lurking in the shadows, the clashing bottles his haunting call. The warriors, once proud and fearless, now find themselves prey in this concrete jungle. The city that never sleeps has turned into a nightmare. The neon lights no longer a beacon of life, but rather a spotlight for their impending doom. The warriors, once kings of their own domain, are now pawns in a terrifying game of cat and mouse. The predator, a menacing biker man, is relentless. His presence is always felt, yet never seen. His call, a chilling echo of glass bottles clashing together, fills the air. It's not just a sound, it's a death knell. Each time it rings, another warrior meets a gruesome end. The details are always different, but the pattern is the same. A clashing sound, a taunting call. Warriors come out to play, and then, silence. The fear among the remaining warriors is palpable. They are no longer a group but individuals, each desperately trying to survive. The unity they once shared is replaced by a sense of desolation. Tension rises with each passing second, each echoing clash of the bottles, each haunting call of the biker man. The city, with its towering buildings and labyrinthine alleys, offers no refuge. There's no escape, only the hope that they won't be the next to fall. As the hunt continues, the once bustling city seems to quieten. The sounds of traffic, the hum of life all fade into the background. The only sound that matters is the clashing of bottles, the predator's chilling call. And then, there were none. The final warrior falls, his body collapsing onto the cold, unforgiving concrete. The city, once their playground, is now their graveyard. As the last warrior falls, New York holds its breath, the silence only broken by the chilling sound of clashing bottles. In the heart of the city, the last warrior stands, ready to face the unseen terror. The night is thick with fear, the once lively streets of New York in 1979 now a chilling battlefield. This lone warrior, the last beacon of hope, stands defiant against the looming darkness. His heart thumps like a war drum in his chest, echoing the eerie rhythm of the clashing glass bottles. The sound grows louder, closer, reverberating through the empty alleyways. A taunting voice cuts through the silence, a bad biker man's chilling chant, warriors come out to play, repeated over and over, a haunting mantra echoing in the night. The suspense is palpable, a heavy blanket smothering the city. Our warrior braces himself, his resolve as unyielding as steel. As he steps forward, the clashing bottles silence abruptly. The city waits, the darkness pregnant with anticipation. In the realm of the unseen, where shadows dance and whispers echo, 
a spectacle unlike any other unfolds. Picture it. Three crystalline vessels, elegantly balanced on the very tips of a hand's fingers. Each one, a glass bottle, poised on the brink of movement. The act commences with a deliberate, almost imperceptible motion. The hand, a master of its craft, begins to move, guiding the glass bottles in a slow, deliberate dance. The silence of anticipation gives way to the soft clinking of glass against glass. A symphony of sound resonates, each note as unique as the touch that coaxes it forth. Every bottle, though identical in form, carries its own voice. A slight variation in angle, a subtle shift in pressure, these minute changes yield a spectrum of tones, a melody crafted not by traditional instruments, but by the delicate balance of glass and touch. The act culminates in a crescendo of sound and sensation. The bottles, once stationary, now harmonize in an exquisite ballet of motion and music. The hand, once a static platform, now a conductor of this beautiful chaos. To recap, the enchanting performance begins with three glass bottles, delicately balanced on the fingertips. The hand initiates a slow, deliberate movement, causing the bottles to collide gently, creating an orchestra of sounds. The act concludes with the bottles dancing together in a symphony of motion and sound, directed by the subtle movements of the hand. This is not merely an act of balance and precision. It is a testament to the power of subtlety, the beauty of simplicity, and the infinite possibilities that lie within the grasp of a single hand. In the hushed veil of night, a chilling melody unfolds. Hear the eerie clink of three glass bottles, each precariously perched on the tips of fingers. A haunting symphony of glass against glass, a soundtrack to the unseen drama that lies in the shadows. A male voice, rich and brooding, breaks the silence. His Californian accent draws out each word, each syllable a testament to the unfolding narrative. Warriors come out to play, he sings, his voice echoing in the stillness. Once, twice, thrice the refrain repeats, each repetition more chilling than the last. A chilling mantra that reverberates in the stillness, a call to arms, a rallying cry. Warriors come out to play. A haunting refrain that lingers long after the words have faded, a chilling echo in the darkness. Warriors come out to play. A chilling refrain that echoes in the silence. A haunting melody that whispers of unseen battles and hidden warriors. A symphony of glass and voice, a chilling serenade in the heart of the night. Warriors come out to play. Immerse yourself in this chilling tableau. Let your senses be captivated by the haunting melody, the chilling refrain. Warriors come out to play. A chilling echo in the darkness, a haunting reminder of the warriors that lurk in the shadows. Warriors come out to play.